that I'm saying and I know that I'm not a failure because I'm a child of God and I know that God does not create failures. Secondly, I've made a conscious decision that I will not be a failure and what that means is that every day I wake up and do little things, the emphasis on the little, um, to ensure that I become the person that I intend to be, be it spiritually, career goals, relationships, etc. This is response to remind yourself why I'm not a failure. Um, recently, I just failed a very important exam in my life and I managed to wake up the next day with joy in my heart and just celebrating. Why is this a big deal for me? As a person who has previously suffered from depression and, and suicidal thoughts, to be in a point where I'm able to face a defeat or a failure like that and being able to wake up the next day just with celebration in my heart, that is a big, big thing because that wasn't possible with the other failures that I faced. So despite that failure, this failure has honestly not defined me as a person. I'm going to uh, just give a few points about how this coronavirus pandemic has uh, affected me and family. Um, just you are focusing on the family side of things. It's been a very important time. Uh, it was recently uh, Jewish Passover and uh, it's a time when you have a lot of family and friends meant to come over and uh, celebrate the, and commemorate the, the Passover from Egypt. Um, a time of freedom and family and togetherness and uh, unfortunately first time ever that we couldn't have uh, you know, couldn't, uh, get all our family together and folks and a brother that's overseas that couldn't, couldn't, couldn't join grandparents um, and then also it was my grandmother's 95th birthday a couple of weeks ago it was also going to be a big celebration and uh, you know, get all the family together and unfortunately we couldn't even you know, go visit her because of it. And um, yeah, then in a couple of weeks, in the beginning of um, July, uh, we went to have a cousin's bar mitzvah, uh, Jewish tradition, a boy to 13, there's a ceremony to uh, read from, from the Torah, from the a scroll, the ancient scroll. And uh, yeah, it's, we don't know what's going to happen there. It's been so cool. Uh, he's been practicing for close on a year, and um, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to postpone that and uh, all the celebrations that go with that. So, yeah, that's my story. Thank you. Have a good evening. Cheers. Bye bye.